I watched this area go from, uh, you know, a drug infested area to a thriving uh, community. A lot of working, productive people here. Before, I mean, when I used to open the shops, have people laying in the front of my doorstep. Now I don't have that anymore. school drives, we uh, um, mentor the kids, we, uh, a lot of times we buy school clothes for the kids. Any, any need that this community have, we're pretty much there for it. We had a kid just yesterday who came in who had a problem with reading in front of the class. After he read in front of us a few times yesterday, he yeah, his confidence was built to the highest aspect to where now he feel like he can read in front of anybody. So we we love to take the kids and, and, and try to mold them into what we figure to be young men. They see what type of barbers, what type of men that we are. We're positive men. For instance, we have a, a school across the street. They had a fight and we was the first ones out there running out there to break it up and try to mentor and talk to the kids. We don't we don't provoke violence, you know. We trying to, you know, it's all about education and love around them. A lot of the kids in the community, you know, even some that do have fathers, you know, may not be there. They come through, they can get some good advice, they get some life lessons here, and you know, they always have positive male role models in here. Building from the ground up is more or less building relationships. We've had a lot of great relationships built at this barbershop. I've watched a lot of guys grow up, start their own families. They bring their kids to the barbershop. Most people that go to the barbershop, they've been going to the same barber for years. So that person now becomes a brother, a friend. Uh, I mean, you sit, into, you sit in their chair for, you know, 20 minutes to 45 minutes to an hour and it's a relaxing experience. You have that person that makes you feel comfortable. And I mean, they, they talk to so many people. So with their experience of hearing about different situations, like they're easy to talk to and they're, you know, their advice you can relate to because this is somebody you actually trust. Over time, you get to know somebody anywhere, months, years, they feel like you're a brother's home. Wow uncle or somebody so you can they can talk to you about almost anything. Well counselors and we learning at the same time too, you know, because not only we, we give advice but some some clients can give us advice and help us in the long run and, and the client may not even know. <laughs> These are the type of black barbershops that I don't agree with but uh, hang out spots. Drug haven a place where uh, people meet to uh, do mischievous things. But it's different here because this is more family oriented, it's community oriented, and it's, it's driven with love. When I first came to this neighborhood, this neighborhood was actually like a drug haven. Um, it took, you know, working with uh, authorities, uh, the housing authority, people in the neighborhood, we pretty much cleaned it up over here. Now, we're going to have a problem with Cleveland, but you think so? Yeah, with LeBron James, man. That's the best player I've ever seen in my life. The best. We talk about everything. We talk about uh, sports. Sports. Sports is an everyday conversation. Every day. ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> politics, um, a little bit of religion, not too much on religion. Big chain barbershop, you know, they pretty much all about, about self, money, efficiency, and time. The machine, you know, you come in, you get your cut. Being familiar with your clients, getting to know your clients on a more personal level. Smaller barbershop, you know, you, you getting more just in the cut. You know, you getting a fellowship. You're getting a, you know, a friend for life. You know, you're getting, 
you getting a mentor, you getting so. a, a brother, a, a, a teacher, somebody positive, you know, somebody close close to you to help you throughout. You know? Most of the guys that come in here, we've been cutting their hair for years. So a lot of times, you know, if they have a problem, most of those problems we've heard before. My son has been coming here since he was, I'm gonna say right under two. I've been coming here since 2004. It's 2017, I'm still alone. Cause... Uh, Jerome, his barber, he's been, <laughs> you know, fighting like him and my son are literally best friends. They fight, they laugh. After his haircuts, he takes them to the store. With Jerome, I feel like my son can learn a lot, especially being a mother that comes into a barber shop. Uh, usually it's, you know, the other way around where the father takes their son, but they're able to fill that void that I can't of a man being in his life. If someone in the community have a problem, we, we're, we're eager to help them. We're the first to come and help. 